Beach. Now at 11, a shocking assessment for one condominium in Miami this week. They're being asked to pay $175,000 each towards their 40 year recertification. And this is a story we've been hearing more and more in South Florida. Residents tell us something isn't adding up and tonight they're putting the blame on their HOA. CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola is live in Northeast Miami Dade with more on what they had to say. Gabby. That's right. So for background, a 40 year recertification is done to make sure that the building is still safe and up to code. So it's not unusual that some repairs need to be done. But like you said, those owners say that they were dumbfounded when those repairs were at the tune of nearly $50 million. Shock, disbelief. Shock, anger, and now searching for answers. Christian Murray has lived in the Palm Bay Yacht Club condos since 2016. Great. Now he and many other residents are worried if they'd be able to keep their homes. The building needed to be recertified, meaning an engineer needed to come in and see if the building needed structural and electrical repairs. Now it's not uncommon that these things need to be fixed, but get this, when the property managers brought in their engineer, they claimed the building Building needed $46 million in repairs. So let's break this down. $46 million means that every condo owner needed to cough up approximately $175,000. Now keep in mind, the entire building itself is worth $50 million. So something here didn't sound right to them. So residents hired a different engineer to do the same assessment, and they were told the building needed $23 million in repairs, a far cry from the initial $46 million. To ask for $46 million for repairs is really extraordinary. Attorney Jane Muir was hired by the residents to fight against the property managers. Upon further investigation, Jane says the engineer largely inflated the cost for repairs and residents believe the property manager called ACAM is not only inflating numbers, but also wants to hire their sister company called Project Management Group to do the repairs, which would be a conflict of interest. I want uh, the truth. It's going to ruin people's lives. It's going to, people are going to lose their homes. And now residents are literally fighting to keep their condos, hoping their home sweet home doesn't go sour. Golly, what a nightmare. So according to Jane, the attorney, if you live in a condo, here are some things you need to know. One, be involved. Go to those condo association meetings. And two, request documents on where your money is going. See who they're paying as well. And three, if those numbers don't add up, contact an accountant. And if they still don't make sense, call an attorney. These folks' court date is set to start next week on Monday. Guys. A lot of condo owners out there could be affected. Gabby, thank you. Still